Well, hello. Welcome back to Websites for Beginners with me, JP. And we are taking a look at the latest release in starter sites from Bloxy. You know I like it. So want to just present to you these excellent starter sites because I think they cannot be compared to many of the other sites out there. The demo sites, demo templates, starter sites from many others. The team at Creative Themes, which are the developers for Bloxy, really put a lot of design into these starter sites. They are just magnificent. And you can follow the link in the description below to take you to Bloxy. The free version is just astounding. And then you can go premium, loads of goodies being added to it. Select starter sites, and here are a number of starter sites. Now, if you come over from maybe other themes, you will think it's not as many. Some run already in the hundreds. But these are well curated starter sites. I was working yesterday just with this one called Home Decor. And I just think if you are setting up a professional looking WooCommerce online store and you want it to look really snazzy, wow, the design here, everything here, can you cannot go wrong. Get some good images, work with the colors, set up your own style, and you're going to hit bullseye. But we're not looking at this one. We're looking at the latest one released this week called Catering. Just another brilliant site. And this is Bloxy, integrated with Stackable, giving you real quality. Well, have a look a little bit at what's going on behind the scenes. Essentially, you have six pages. You have a homepage, services, menu about, then your blog site, as well as a contact section. Starts here with a hero section, and you can see the sticky menu at the top. Nice little feature section down there. Then you have menus plus a video section, more services, a menu section. And we'll jump into the back to see how this was achieved. And then you have testimonials team as well as an opt-in form with a brilliant footer at the bottom, something we are used to in Bloxy. Let's have a look at services. Brilliantly done. All the services you can get here with nice hover effects. Branding, a little bit more about the menu. And then you have a form here, which is created by default with WP Forms. I'll usually switch this out to a form builder that I prefer. Call to action section and then additional services. And we are back at the bottom to our footer section. Let's go to the next page, which is the menu page. Going to give us all the different items from starter salads, mouth watering goodies. And again, we have this feature here that we will jump into. Same that we saw on the front of the home page. The About Us page gives us a counter there, qualified stuff, mushrooms. Good. And then here you have a little bit of a team display. And we have over here an accordion. So let's have a look at that one as well. Then for your blog site, this is fully created with the archive blog posts and the single posts within Bloxy. And if you've used Bloxy before, you know that this is just total awesomeness combined into one package. And this is in the free version. If you go pro, you get more layout options, even custom designs that you can work in there. Great. Social share, previous post. Gives you an idea of the single pages. And finally, we have a contact. And I love the consistency in this design. This is what I mean by good job, nice colors, full pages, not just things thrown together and mashed up, but really looking at how it works. Let's go to the menu section. And as I've mentioned, the pages are built out with Stackable. I work a lot with Stackable. Let's go edit the page. And I do like it. It's one of the Gutenberg editors that's slowly but surely getting it right. Here you can take a little cue in a few shortcuts from the Creative Themes team in that you see that we do not see that leader that we saw on the front end. I'll just take us to the front end so we can have a look at that again so you know what I'm referencing to. 
Between soup of the day, you have this leader, this dashed line, and then the price over there. And that is done with a little bit of, not code, but a little bit of a shortcut. Select it, and you will see we're actually inside a heading block. And then you have under topography content, which they have added super of the day, this little string of text and code here with the strong $10. And you can just copy it, use it for the others, and something that you can also consider using in the future. Very nice little nifty feature there. Under about, let's go have a look at what has been done with this accordion that we had seen here. Scroll down, select. First, if you click on it, you may get confused and you think this is a heading. And then what do I have here? There is an icon. And then if I select one level up, I'm now in a column. What is this? If you ever get confused like this with in WordPress, aka Gutenberg editor, just go to the list view and activate that. And it will really give you a layout of how this works. Stackable in the latest version has also included a navigation area. Here in the bottom right hand corner of the inspector, you can select anything. So let's just choose this image here and you will see it will show you. So you can close the list view. Let's just do that. You have an image and a heading in a column that's part of the column. So the parent container will always appear here, not the entire list, which is nice because then you don't need this entire bar open and have everything there. You can just work with what you have selected. Let's scroll back to that accordion. Click on that and then note what we have here in the bottom right hand corner under navigation. You will see that the parent container is accordion. This is something that Stackable introduced in version two, which is referred to as content blocks, if I'm not mistaken. And the whole idea behind these content blocks is that they contain different elements combined but at the same time gives you a modular approach, which means it remains flexible in case you want to move things around. The old way was very static. Your title was stuck here. You can only add this paragraph. You couldn't add more additional information, but now you can add more things. So you have the accordion function, which is gluing everything together. And then you will see you have in the accordion, the first column, which is going to be your title. This is where you type in the heading or the question that you want, as well as you have control over the icon there. And then the second column is going to be your content. If I unfold the column, you will see currently we have the text in there, but you can add anything else in there. If I wanted to bring in an icon list, I can simply click and drag and drop the icon list in there. And then from here, let's say I was adding something like a recipe. I'm just typing some stuff about restaurant. Yeah, let's just time. That's how easily you can build out this accordion. Select the accordion at the top level. And from the options in the sidebar, you will see that under style, you have option open at the start and close adjacent on open. So when you close one, the others will open. But if you de-toggle this or untoggle it, then they will remain open. I like this. Maybe for this one open at the start, I will deselect it, update. And if we go and preview this on the front end, what we should see is the accordion, all of the accordion tabs closed. And then, yep, they are closed. And as I select this one, the others will remain closed. If I select this one, the other this one will close up. I think if you've never worked with Bloxy or with Stackable, this is an ideal place to install the starter site on a local host, go into it and see how it is done. This is really well done. And the last starter sites that have been rolling out for Bloxy all use Stackable. I know I've, I've mentioned Gutenberg is still a challenge, but the reality is many people admit this, by going Gutenberg, your site speed just soars through the roof. We see Spectra coming in soon from Brainstorm Force. We see Greenshift, which I made a tutorial about earlier this week. And everyone is just putting their shoulder to the wheel and see what they can do in terms of the Gutenberg editor and kind of make it a page slash site builder with the new FSE. 
full site editing functionality that's also out. Another home run for the guys over at Creative Themes and this free catering theme that you can go and install from the starter site section within the Bloxy Companion. Try it out today and let me know what you think of the starter site. From me, JB, go well, stay safe.